Orange County Registered Digital. Hello and welcome to the OC Varsity Dugout Show. This will be a preview of the second round and quarterfinals of the CIF Southern Section Playoffs. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus, being joined by our baseball expert, Steve Fryer. Steve, second round today. Today is a Tuesday. Right. We have a number of county teams in it. Uh, Storylines that we've seen from the first round and wild card, Steve, I think is strong league play. Two particular leagues made quite the showing as far as advancing to the second round. Those two, two leagues were the Freeway League and the Seaview League. Yeah, the Freeway League, this is the best Freeway League we've seen in some time in baseball. You know, Buena Park was good. They battled, you look at their scores, <laughs> they lost some close games. Fulton has a really good pitch named Brent Bell, so he was always a guy to deal with. I saw La Habra play Sonora. La Habra's pretty good, didn't make the playoffs. Troy's had one of their best years in a long time. Sunny Hills, you know, in the playoffs for the only the second time in the last 10 or 15 years, one of the best teams they've had since the 90s. So and they're playing, and they're playing like they want to make history. We made it out to that wild card game, and that was over quick. Yeah, that they're very. Uh, they got some offense uh, and some good defense, uh, so they got all the things that are going. And you know. Sometimes when those teams, Jonathan, are like, uh, you know, nobody's expecting anything of them. There's no pressure on them. They just go out and play and have fun. And that seems to be the Sunny Hills recipe thus far. Northwood, along with Sunny Hills, were the only two teams to win their wild card game and first round game. So sometimes you see those hot teams go all the way. They're certainly doing that. Now, another league was the Seaview League that I mentioned, Steve, specifically San Clemente, Mission Viejo, and Tribuco Hills, all in the playoffs, not playing each other, but they could down the road. Yeah, and they've got pitching. You know, you got Sandoval over at Mission Viejo. And they've got all kinds of guys all to play. San Clemente, even with Allard out all year, he's not going to be able to play, pitch during the playoffs. The guy, who, you know, one of the top rated guys in the United States, and they've done really well. Lucas Herbert, their catcher, had four RBIs the other day. They've got some great players all over the place at San Clemente as well. All right, moving over to Division One, Steve. Um, we have, I think it is five teams in Division One. Two of them are playing each other today in J. Sarah. They are hosting Fountain Valley, which, which should be a superb matchup of county versus county schools. The other D1 teams remaining are Capistrano Valley, El Dorado, and Huntington Beach. They have a tough test today because they are all on the road. You know, it's a, it's an interesting thing with this Capistrano Valley team. You know, they're they're still under 500, and they're in the second round of the playoffs. They're 14, 16, and one, but they won that South Coast League, which was a great league. They beat Elisa Miguel twice in the final week, and and gosh, you know, what a good time of year to, to start playing your best baseball. You got a great uh, player in Jordan Bacco, a good pitcher, good hitting kind of guy. And uh, Jeepers, you know, that Fountain valley J. Sarah game, uh, that's as good as it gets. Uh, two top ten teams in the county playing each other in the second round. J. Sarah has the pitching depth, Jonathan, you got to have in these playoffs with Longry, Quinn, Owen, uh, three guys. Some teams, you know, have one ace. That team's got three. Tough to beat. Uh, quality pitching, especially when you could bring it out of the bullpen. Some of those yeah. starters could go a couple innings there. And, Jonathan, some of the small schools are doing very well, too, in the playoffs. Three Academy League teams are still alive, too. Four teams advance, but three of them are there. And Sage Hill was seated number one. Korean Lutheran seated number two. They're still going. And Division Five is last year's Division Six champion. They got bumped up in Division Five. Capistrano Valley Christian. So, you know, when we're looking at all these baseball teams from Orange County and figuring out who's going to go in the quarters and the semis, don't forget about those Academy League and San Joaquin League teams. Some very good baseball is played, at, played in those uh, small private school leagues. All right, that'll do it for this playoff preview this week. But next week, we will preview the CIF finals, uh, which are going down where in Riverside yeah. and UCR for divisions five, six, and seven, and division one, two, three, and four at the San Manuel Stadium, a minor league stadium in San Bernardino. Should be a lot of fun. We're going to put a lot of miles on our cars, aren't we? All right, thanks to Steve Fryer. I'm your host, Jonathan Camus. And for all your latest baseball playoff updates, check out ocvarsity.com, where we've got you covered. Orange County Register. We are here in the service of Orange County.